Vichy Anand was greeted with a big applause before the ninth game of the Chess World Championship in Chennai. Both he and his local fans, everyone knew that the world champion would be fighting for his last serious chance to keep the title in the fight against Magnus Carlsen. And it started promising. With 1d4 knight f6, the game became a Nimzu Indian and Anand got serious attacking chances, but he didn't get close enough to the enemy king, and suddenly on move 28, the world champion blundered and had to resign. And he's, he he's resigned. resigned! Oh my goodness, he's resigned and he's gonna be... Oh my goodness. Magnus Carlsen is half a point away from being world champion. I can't believe this. And, I, and we can hear massive cheering from the Norwegian center right now, which is right next door to us. And, and they're having a talk about so it. Bad. And this was the critical position. He went for it and we I thought... I feel so bad right now, Lawrence. <laughs> I just feel incredibly sad right now because if he had played Bishop F1, I still think there is a game on here. I think there were some improvements. But I think that been. idea with knight e2 instead of rook f4 was also. still good for white. Right. He completely <coughs> missed queen e1. And wish he kind of knows that now it's... I just had to go all out for for um, for counterplay. And... Uh, uh, I mean, there were an, an amazing number of complicated lines here. I, I wasn't sure... Um, uh, really about what to do, but um, as as it happens, my my um, moves were weren't that complicated. I had to play the only moves all, all the time, and uh, and uh, I mean, fortunately for me, he he blundered. But actually, you spent also a lot of time after this B3 move. Did you try really to calculate all these complications, all these variations, till the end somehow? And this was it possible? No, I was thinking what to eat tonight. Yeah, it was a really, really tough game. Um, since I mean, from the opening, it was clear that it's going to be extremely un unbalanced, uh, and I run a serious danger of um, of getting mated, which I hadn't in in previous games. But um, I just had to deal with the situation, try to create counterplay. And, Fortunately, I, 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 I was fast enough, but it, it was uh, it was a really tough game. Well, of course, I, I needed to um, change the course of the match drastically, and um, well, that's why I kind of uh, went for this. Um, I had a rest day to kind of get familiar with all this material because it's a very complicated line, and um, yeah, I thought it pretty much. Um, I mean, that I had to go for something like this. Are you glad you did it? <laughs> uh, I was anyway, but um, right now, well, I, I still think this was, uh, I had to do this and this was the correct choice, so I have no regrets about that. Yeah, that's very strange with these blunders, actually. But I guess it's something, I've made so many horrible blunders, I cannot be compared with Anand, but uh, I make those blunders because uh, I'm tired and uh, uh, blunders I never made before, so I guess that is some part of being old or something. So maybe it's just the age, uh, the thing that uh, uh, made the difference here. Yeah, as an Indian, I'm very disappointed uh, with the way how this game has ended, because it's now almost... Uh, it makes uh, things very difficult for Anand uh, to come back now. And uh, the position was not uh, so easy for Carlsen, I thought. Uh, but Anand thought for 40 minutes and played Queen F4. And then uh, I was under the impression maybe he has worked out everything. And then came this uh, Knight of one allowing Queen E1. Well, it was a very surprising finish, for sure. It was just uh, another collapse by Anand. Magnus was really close to being mated today. Were you uh, afraid that this would be happening? Oh yes, I was very afraid that he would be mated. Uh, it was very close. Uh, it probably was no mate, but uh, Anand could play a little bit more positional maybe and, uh, and have a good position just positionally too. What do you think of Magnus' uh, opening choice? Did he allow too many uh, chances for his opponent? or? Uh, yes, uh, I don't know. It was... Uh, he had to face something that oh, Anand obviously prepared very well on the free day. And uh, I think it was interesting. The position is interesting. It's, it's double-edged. 
so uh, but it was of course dangerous that's for sure no but I think uh, in the last few years uh, especially after the match against Kramnik because uh, at the point at that point Kramnik was the best you can say uh, in comparison to Anand and others so uh, when uh, Anand beat Kramnik and that in a crushing style there was a, he took a big lead especially he won two games with the black pieces which has not happened to Kramnik he never loses with the white pieces so I think from that point on uh, Uh, even in his match against uh, Topalo and the match against uh, Gelf and uh, I think from a uh, tournament player uh, he changed himself into a match player and uh, as a result you could easily see that the, his results in uh, tournaments got affected he was not winning tournaments anymore and he was just about managing to hold on to his uh, rating performance and uh, his focus was mostly on winning the world championship matches and uh, accordingly he changed his style as well earlier he was known to be very aggressive and taking risk playing sharp openings but then he started uh, playing d4 the catalan something like uh, in style of kramnik and liko and uh, probably like uh, it changed uh, he changed his approach to the game i think he just wanted to be a player who is good at matches and uh, winning the world championship title and uh, which is probably a wise decision uh, given that he is not growing younger with each year so he needs to use his resources uh, where it is needed the most and uh, was it perhaps a bit too cautious for a player yeah, against carlson was becoming cautious but i think it was a, uh, not it was not ha- happening without his knowledge probably it was a conscious decision that he just uh, because in matches it's uh, only 12 games and uh, when you lose a game if it is going to happen after the first half you really have very little time to come back and uh, against topolo it happened in the first game itself so he had time to come back but if it's going to happen uh, but he i think probably he realized there that if this is going to happen like seventh or eighth round then uh, you need to uh, it's it's going to be very difficult so he probably chose to not lose games than win and uh, with his experience and uh, the opening preparation which he has accumulated uh, over many years over decades you can say uh, which uh, others don't have the uh, privilege of uh, access to such vast information probably he thought if the need comes when i have to win a game to win the match i could be able to do that so i think it was a conscious decision where he changed his style over the years to suit match play but i hope with this uh, he will try to be the anand we all know 